This is a short video on mass ratios from chapter 2 and I'm going to do a couple worked examples that are in your book. So this is example 2.1 and as I mentioned they have it worked out in your book. I'm going to show you an alternative way of working the problem. So it says hydrogen gas for fuel cells can be made by decomposing methane. The decomposition gives carbon and hydrogen in a ratio of three parts of carbon to one part by mass of hydrogen. How much hydrogen can be made from 90 grams of methane? I like to work mine in a table, so I put in the carbon, the hydrogen, and the methane. Then it told me there was three parts of carbon for every one part to hydrogen. And then if I add the three and the one together, I can get the four parts for the methane. They didn't tell me anything about carbon, but they asked me to find out how much hydrogen if I had 90 grams of methane. So using the last two rows of my chart, that's the information that I have. And I'm going to set up a proportion. So 1 is to 4 as question mark is to 90. And if I cross multiply and divide, I should be able to find that there's 22.5 grams of hydrogen. On the same page, there's an exercise 2.1b says that nitrous oxide can be decomposed to give seven parts by mass of nitrogen and four parts by mass of oxygen. What mass of nitrogen is obtained if enough nitrous oxide is decomposed to yield 36 grams of oxygen? So once again, I'm going to set up a table. In this case, I have nitrogen and oxygen, and then this is my nitrous oxide. And it doesn't matter what the formula is. I just put something that says that they go together. So I have seven parts by mass of nitrogen, four parts by mass of oxygen, and seven plus four makes 11. They asked me to find how much nitrogen if I have 36 grams of oxygen. Now in this particular case, I don't even need the bottom row of the table because all the information I need is in the top. So I'm gonna set up a proportion again that seven is to four as question mark is to 36. And then if I cross multiply and divide, I can find my question mark, which would tell me there's 63 grams of nitrogen. 